Greetings, everyone. This is Morning Eggnog. My name is James Hunt. With me as always, Kill. Good morning, everybody. Sorry, I almost jumped the gun soon, too soon. I was like, Are you going to wear your headphones right or are you wear them like that? I think you should wear them like that the entire <laughs> you time. Like this the whole time. I just re- I was like, why does it look different <laughs> slightly? Uh, if you're watching the video podcast, uh, Caleb is wearing his headphones. Very cute. Yeah. This is how I wear my headphones when my daughters are in the room. So I can still kind of hear what's going on in the game. But then I can answer the th- 16,000 questions that are hitting me so per Dad, 15 why, minutes. Why are... Why are what dad uh, dad what? are you listening dad can you hear me dad and they start getting louder and louder it's like yes <laughs> kids, what do you want kids are adorable <laughs> you know what else is adorable Ten thousand quintillion quint- quintillion dollars wow that's what the government spent last year <laughs> <laughs> dang donald trump <laughs> dang dong trunk is that what you trump donald trump dang dong trump Donald. Donald. Dang dong Donald. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> what is this? What are we doing? PDT. That's what we should start naming him. P? P. President. Donald oh. Trump. PDT. PDT. Sounds like a sounds like you got a disorder of some kind. <laughs> oh man, I got a case of the PDT. <laughs> that's what the that's what the rest of the world would say. They're like, oh man, America. They have a case, a bad case, the PDT. Okay, anyways, segue. What is Biden's first name? Joe? Joe. Why did I not think of that? <laughs> <laughs> the real question. <laughs> the Sorry. Real, the real question is what's his middle name? I hope it's Francis. Joe Francis Biden. PBJ or PG, PJB? PJB? That sounds. Yeah, that makes sense. PJB. PJB. Hey, PJ. <laughs> you just call him PJ. President Joe. <laughs> Yo, PJ. If he gets in office, that's what I'm going to call him. I mean, come on. That's actually... Who is it? PT. Oh, you know who else was called PJ? Who? Uh, it would be... Jay, just bear with me. Disney. Um... <laughs> Disney. Disney. Uh, Arrow Dude. What is the Arrow Dude? Robin Hood. Robin the Hood. The King. The King. They start calling him PJ. PJ Prince Prince Caspian. Prince yeah. John. <laughs> Prince John. <laughs> Come on, it's Disney. We can allow, we can remember their names. Uh, nope, but I do remember watching that that movie <laughs> of uh, the fox being being all Robin Hood like. Yeah. Do you know how many cross dressers there are in Disney? No. Explain. That scene alone, there's two. Oh, 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 yes. There's, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Never mind. He's like, wait a second. What are you talking about? Uh. <laughs> Pomona Tumba. Tumba. Pump. <laughs> I'm crossing their names. Excuse my. Pomona and Tumba. Pomona. This is a train wreck. I'm so sorry for everyone who has to listen. <laughs> okay. Timon and Pumba. <laughs> Timon's like, what do you want me to do? Dress and drag and do the hula? Which is exactly what he does. I haven't seen that movie in so long. You need to rewatch some of these kids' movies, and then you'll be like, ah, that was adult humor that I missed when I was a kid. I just try to avoid it. Why? Because it's all subliminal messages for our children to worship Satan. Okay, so know. here's the first thing. I didn't get any of them. I don't need them. And, and, and I made it through, as far as I know, with not too... There's a trigger word. They just have to say apple juice or something. (laughs) Disney's just waiting for the apocalypse to drop their one word. Because everybody's actually, whatever that thing is, when they do what people say. Brainwashed? No, not brainwashed. What's the one where people like... Sleep or so. You're getting sleepy. Hypnotized. Everybody's hypnotized. They just don't know it yet. (laughs) We're so good with words today. (laughs) The thing, you know... Everybody's just like, oh, this is so torturous. Come on, guys. I think my. <laughs> Get your stuff together. Anyways, we were talking about a 10 quadrillion uh, something. I am still going back to when you asked what Biden's first name was. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> so I was I was searching for topics, and this came up in. A that can't be his real name. Joe? Joseph. Joseph. I Probably. bet it's Joseph Biden. Joseph Biden. Hmm. Anyways, I was, I was looking on a. I was looking up some some stuff to to talk about today, 
And the first story that really grabbed my attention was CBS News. Hubble telescope gives closer look at a rare asteroid worth ten quadrillion dollars. Sweet. There's an extremely rare metallic asteroid lurking between Mars and Jupiter, and it's worth more than the entire global economy. Good now, the Hubble Space Telescope has given us a closer look at the object, which is worth an estimated 10,000 quadrillion. That just sounds like a kid talking about how something is worth. It's worth a million, billion, zillion, trillion, dillion. Okay, so what's so fa- fabulous about this material? A new study this week in the Planetary Science Journal delves deeper than ever before into the mysteries of the asteroid's sixth sixth psych. Oh, that's sixteenth psych, sixth whatever. One of the most massive objects in the solar system's main asteroid belt, orbiting between Mars and Jupiter, about three two hundred and thirty million miles from Earth. It measures about four hundred oh sorry, one hundred and forty miles in diameter. It's a pretty big asteroid. <laughs> Roughly the size of Massachusetts. <laughs> sorry. What? <laughs> it's one big asteroid. <laughs> Most asteroids are made up of rocks or ice, but sixteen is dense and mostly made out of metal. <laughs> possibly the leftover core of a planet that never <laughs> Succeeded in sorry. <laughs> a so called protoplanet, which has its core, which had its core exposed ooh, following a hit and run collision <laughs> <laughs> that removed the body from its mantle. <laughs> this is such a weird, like, I love all their, their speculations of where this is actually coming from. Mm-hmm. It looks kind of cool, though. It looks like a really cool moon. The study marks the first. Is that the real thing, or is that like one of those like the massive three D generated who observed pictures. the object in ultraviolet wavelengths? So it's probably a quote unquote picture. Yeah. The study marks the first ultraviolet UV observations of its celestial object. New data reveals that the asteroid may be made entirely of iron and nickel. Think of how many nickels you can make. With 10,000 quadrillion. It's a lot of nickels. Yeah. Found in the dense core of a planet, of the planets, planet, planets. That doesn't sound like it'd be worth that much then. Well, I'm assuming the, the material, uh, metal asteroids are rare. So this one provides researchers with an exciting opportunity to study the inside of a planet in 2022. NASA plans to launch... The unmanned spacecraft on a SpaceX Falcon heavy rocket to study the asteroid in an attempt to understand its history and that of similar objects. The first time a mission will visit a body made entirely of metal. Like, that's pretty cool. The question is, how soon do you think guys, like, the miners are going to be like, all right, boys. The next gold rush. The next gold rush is to space. Da, 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 da. Everybody's going to Elon. All right, Elon, I need I need a rocket right now. Mm-hmm. I have ten billion dollars. I need a rocket to get to that. I need a rocket right now. I don't know what I'm going to do with ten quadrillion, ten thousand quadrillion dollars. Mm-hmm. I need me a space tow truck. <laughs> 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 a lot of people leave their families just to go look at the ten thousand quadrillion dollar asteroid. Oh. I guess I've never looked up at the sky and been like, "Man, I wonder what that speck up there is worth." <laughs> oh goodness! Because ten quadrillion, ten thousand quadrillion dollars is a little ridiculous. Come on! I don't think is it ten thousand quadrillion or is it ten ten thousand quadrillion? Do you know how much sense that makes in my brain? It doesn't. I can barely fathom a billion. Yeah. <laughs> like even a million dollars is like kind of like... I can spend a million pretty quick, but ten th- a billion. <laughs> if you can spend a million pretty quick, you could spend a billion pretty quick. Nope, because it's a hundred million. No, sorry, it's a thousand millions. Still. It wouldn't take that long. I think they actually did a study about it. It would take... If you s- try to spend a billion dollars within a certain amount of time, there's literally no way possible to do it. It was within, I think, like a year. 
I guess that's true. I don't know. Because think about how meaningful, meaningful, meaningless, meaningless. I don't know. The stuff I want is not very much in high, in realistic terms. Do you mean realistic terms or rich people terms? Realistic terms. My realistic terms. Your, what is real to me? <laughs> I'm not rich, so I don't know yet. All right. Let's talk about raccoons. Raccoon leads faculty members on a chase through Texas school. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> of course, and it's Texas. Cue the music again. A Texas high school shared security footage of teachers and an animal control officer <laughs> chasing a loose raccoon through the halls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can see he's like almost kicking it. <laughs> uh, raccoons are very adorable. If they weren't so evil and also had all of the diseases. Yeah, they have lots of diseases. They don't make good house pets. Well, it's like the skunk last week we talked about, or last, whatever, last episode. We I feel talked like about. it's different. Kind of, because raccoons are they more got scavenger. Hand, they, they got, got those hand, like, they human got, hands. They got hands. They got those creepy hands that they can just be like, pick things up and be like, I'm taking this. They're weird. They are. Because they can, they can run on all fours <laughs> if they want to go real fast, but they can also walk on two feet. Yeah, they're kind of weird. I don't know, and their body shape is fascinating. Yeah. It's like a. I really because like I've a seen, beat, yeah, what <laughs> like a beat? You know, because it's like real narrow at the one point and then it gets really fat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're so fun to watch walk. <laughs> they're like blah, 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 blah. you feel bad when you hit one. I, I don't. Hit. I don't like hitting animals. Period. I but don't either. Hitting hitting a raccoon is pretty sad because he's like, oh dang it. Yeah, he washes his hands before he eats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he doesn't use soap or anything. But yeah, except last time it destroyed my bumper. <laughs> yeah, raccoon chunks. Because they are chunky. Yeah. Where were we at? They are pretty chunks. Yeah, they are. They're super chunky. Raccoon meat. Oh, that's what I was talking about. Uh, I was going to talk about one of the... I was at a customer's house this, uh, last week, and she was talking about how her husband loved raccoon meat. Oh, I don't think you should be eating raccoon meat. That's what she said. But he said, no, I'll I'll take it I'll Take it to the, my mother-in-law's, her, her mother. And he's like, she's like, well... How does that? Do you, how many mother in laws? How many mother in laws you got? Because uh, I don't think my mom is gonna cook it up for you. And so, but then he finally found somebody to cook it up for him, and he he likes eating raccoon meat. Oh, um, now if you knew oh. what the diet of the raccoon was, See, that would be different. That was her thing because she's like, "Hey, you're gonna cook." He said, "Hey, you're gonna cook this up for me." She said, "Do you got another wife?" Because. <laughs> You're going to have to get one to cook a raccoon for you. It's the same thing with bears. I've heard you can eat bear meat, but they recommend when they're there's a certain season when you want to hunt them because that's when they're eating a lot of berries and vegetables and like so their body is more purified rather than them pounding salmon. What you doing a bunch of salmon meat in your a bunch of salmon meat in your uh, bear meat? Uh, well, maybe it has a better uh Omega factor. <laughs> Forget your fish. Just eat the eat the animal that eats the fish. Because that's om- how you their get your omega, omega factor is great. That would, I wonder if that's actually true or not. Probably We're not. We're scientists. We're scientists. <laughs> Where were we? I just keep having the. Okay, so there's a show called um, uh, Milo's Milo Murphy's Law. Milo Murphy's. Anyways, it's a Murphy's show. Milo. Yeah. Anyways, it's a show on Disney. It's done by the same creators of um, Phineas and Ferb. Mm-hmm. So just incredible. And so every now and then they'll have a little raccoon. He comes in. He's the reoccurring raccoon. I love that. You see him Those... now. You'll see him soon. He's the reoccurring raccoon. He even has his own theme song. And Zippy Those... the Aqualo, the world's fastest koala. <laughs> <laughs> see... Those guys figured out how to make TV shows interesting. Exactly, and the, it, they're self-aware. Oh yes, and I think that's what I think people really like self-awareness because it's pretty genuine. Then, but it, yeah, I love Phineas and Ferb. So anything that those guys will make, I will probably watch. Which I'm surprised you haven't watched it yet because it's I don't got, have Disney Plus. It's got one of your favorite a- actors in it. I don't. Well, he's not actors. He's actually a singer. Brendan Urie. No. No, oh, I don't know who you're talking about. <sighs> Good night. Come on. He has long, flowing locks. You described a bunch of singers. Um, his dad used to sing polka. 
Oh, Weird Al Yankovic? <laughs> yes. He is the lead character oh my gosh. in the show. Oh, he's amazing. <laughs> it's that, such a good show. That man is hilarious. So, yes. So, there's a lot of singing. He does a lot of singing. It's fun. <laughs> I'm well, really I'll surprised. Have to, I'll have to use your Disney Plus sometime. Actually, I don't think. Anyways, um, I think you can. they have a Disney, little side Disney thing that you might be able to, a Disney app you might be able to watch it on. Maybe. I used to watch it on that. But anyways, great show. Really enjoy it. Kids absolutely loved it. I think we've watched the first season about three or four times now, so I think that's enough. All right. Trinity High School principal Mike Harris shared the security footage of the scene that unfolded at the Ulysses School when a raccoon made its way into the building. Dun, dun, dun. The video shows a group of seven teachers <laughs> and an animal control officer chasing the raccoon through the empty halls of the school for several moments. Now, class, we are going to be today. We're going to be learning about fractions. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, I gotta, I gotta, there's a raccoon in the building. We'll be back. <laughs> Just leaves this, the Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie, gotta go. The raccoon eventually darts out the building through an open door. I bet this was the best, <laughs> the best time to have a raccoon in the building because it shouldn't be that many kids. Yeah, because the liability would be a lot lower. Sure, raccoons are so weird, dude. They are. They're kind of one of the weirdest creatures of Ohio. Yep. I, I mean, beside opossums. Possums are terrifying. Yeah, the fact that they're a marsupial. A possum Ooh. walked in front of me the other day. I was leaving a customer's house. They're the weirdest. It just kind of was like, hey, it, I don't even know if it acknowledged me, but it just kept walking and walked right in front of me. I was like, well, that's a possum. During the daylight hours, that's usually not a good sign. It was nighttime, but yeah. Oh, well, then it's fine. It was still weird. It's still weird. I didn't like it. Yeah, I was very. See it's, a, it startled the crap out of me. You I see a possum, scared. you're just kind of like, yeah. I and think it's it, their face. Their face kind of ruins the. Well, whole. then, well, no, they're they're kind of cute and cuddly until they yawn or open their mouth, and then you're like, oh, you have lots of razor sharp teeth. Yeah, which is funny because they don't. They're not like a real threatening animal. No, not really. They're kind of you know known for faking their down deaths. <laughs> <sighs> so I'm not really sure where to go from that. Neither so am I. I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> Be free. Be free, subject. I'm not really sure where that was going, so you can just go free. Yeah. So thanks so much for joining us. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram to keep up. I post there as much as I possibly can. We try for two times a week. Uh, But yeah, we post every other Thursday. And we post every other Thursday. (laughs) We post every other Thursday. We post every other Thursday. But we post every other Thursday on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and Podbean. I don't think it's called Google Play anymore. I think it's called just Google Podcast. But anyways, if you could go yeah, subscribe Google Play to us. Yeah, Google Play no longer exists. No, it doesn't. That but was kind of sad. Yeah. But if you, could, if you could subscribe to us on YouTube and leave a very nice comment or a mean one, whatever, um, be sure to do that. That'd be great. And then rate us on iTunes, five stars. I think we have like three ratings. I don't know. All right. We got three five-star well, one ratings. one of them is yours. That's besides the point. <laughs> We have five <laughs> stars on our podcast. And I might have stolen my wife's phone and rated this. Anyways, so be sure to do that. And uh, if you have a topic you want us to cover, if you want to be on the podcast, or if you have a green screen background you want us to use, you can email us at morningignog at gmail.com or message us on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you so much for joining us, and have a wonderful morning, noon, and night. See ya. See ya.